Hey everybody, in this video, I wanna go over creating a recording using Yuja. The first step is to log in to Canvas using your university credentials. And then once you're logged in, click on the Yuja navigation link on the left. So let me do that. And when you click on that Yuja navigation link, it'll take you to the Yuja platform. Now, let me go back real quick to the discussion one instructions. So what I'm showing you takes you, or what I've showed you so far, takes you up to this part of the instructions. And the reason I'm using a platform outside of Yuja is for me to be able to show you how to use Yuja, I had to start somewhere else first. So that's kind of what's going on there. And before we get to the point where we, I show you how to create a recording in Yuja, I want to point out that you also have the option to upload a video you created elsewhere using a different platform or maybe your phone, for example. When you go to Yuja, that option is here, upload. You could click on upload, look for the video file on your computer, and then it'll be on Yuja. Now for this video, I want to show you create recording. So when you click on create recording, you'll get this create recording window and you'll have an option to either record from your Windows PC or Mac or record with browser capture studio. So I was able to see the options there by clicking on the drop down. And what I like to use personally is record with browser capture studio because I don't need to work with a desktop app to start recording something. Now, if you do want to record from your Windows PC or Mac, then you might have to download and install Yuja first. But for this video, I'm going to go with Browser Capture Studio because I don't need to download anything. I will just be using my web browser to record this video via Yuja. Okay, so once you make your choice on how you want to record, you can then put in a title. So let me just do test January 2024, which is when I'm recording this video. And once you have that set up, click on the start button. And then from there, there are a few more options to take a look at. So Yuja is something I want to use for this class because under the discussion instructions I put on there that I would like for us to use Yuja as our platform for creating and or sharing videos throughout the semester. So I'm using the first discussion post, this discussion one, for us to get familiar with the tool. And I'm using this video, I'm using video in this online format because one of our learning objectives for this course is to develop oral and written communication skills. And I like using Yuja because it's already integrated into Canvas. We don't have to do anything special to get started with it, except to click on this Yuja video that I'm gonna put right here. But I'll talk more about that in that separate video. So let me go back here. You have the option to just do a camera where it's just you speaking. It's just you featured in the video or you could do just the screen. And when you choose screen, it'll let you choose what you wanna share. What I prefer to do is just choose entire screen so that I could share whatever it is that I wanna put or that I have on the screen because sometimes uh, it's pretty limited if I just choose like a Chrome tab, for example, or a particular window. Let me cancel out of that. And then maybe you want to do both to where we can see you and then also whatever you're trying to share on the screen. So that's what I want to show in this video. Let me do both. And then once I make that choice, I'll have to choose what I want to share. So entire screen. And if your setup is like mine, where you have more than one screen, then you will have to choose which screen you want to share. And then once you're ready, click on share, and then you'll be able to see what it is that you're recording for this Yuja video. So 
In my case, because I chose both, there is a screen showing me, and then there's also the a preview of the screen that I'll be sharing. And then if you want to or need to, you could also choose what microphone to use. So in my case, I like to use this microphone that I have connected to my computer. And then video, if you have more than one camera, for example, then this is when you can choose which one to use. So once you have all that set up, then you can start recording. And when you do that, the first thing you're going to see is what I like to call the infinity screen. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? And then that will be just, uh, it'll just be a matter of clicking on the part of your screen that you actually want to share. So say you had something you want to show in this tab, then you can just go to that and you can start like blah, blah, blah. Hey, everybody, here's my presentation. This is this, that is that. And then when you're done, you can then go back to this tab and click on this red button where if you hover over it, it'll say end recording. And then once you finish recording, once you click on that, then this screen will pop up where it will ask you, hey, do you want to discard it or do you want to upload it or do you want to download it? In our case, you want to go ahead and upload that so that it will end up in your Yuja platform. Upload finish so you could close on your tab down and see here's that video I just created. And then now it would be just a matter of looking at the rest of the instructions to know how to post that into your discussion or to share that video later on in other assignments for this class. All right, that's what I got for this video. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.